This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Back to the barnyard for another versatile plant lesson. This unassuming plant has many names. Buffalo gourd, calabazilla, chillicote, coyote gourd, fetid gourd, fetid wild pumpkin, Missouri gourd, prairie gourd, stinking gourd, wild gourd, and wild pumpkin. It clings to the roadsides in central and western Kansas and is ideally suited to the plains, having adapted to semi-arid climates and sandy soil. It does not require a lot of rain. One reference said that it is particularly well suited to marginal agricultural lands. According to the website Medicinal Plants of the Southwest, American Indians have used this little gourd for thousands of years. It has been used traditionally in various ways as a food, cosmetic, detergent, insecticide, and ritualistic rattle, said the site. The plant is easily recognized as being a member of the squash or gourd family by the large yellow trumpet bloom common to squash or pumpkins. It grows quickly and with a very long taproot helps hold the soil in place, though some consider it a nuisance. The taproot can be several feet long and weigh over a hundred pounds. It has been used for laundry soap and shampoo. The website described medicinal uses as everything from a pain reliever to a dewormer, disinfectant to ulcer cure. As a source of food, the gourd may be cooked like squash when it is young and the seeds may be roasted or ground into meal when the gourd browns. I pick them to dry and decorate. Since painting gourds with my granny, I have loved their versatility and beauty, and these are perfect for crafting. Like so many things beneath our feet, this common little gourd is not so common after all. We started farming in 1970. It was harder work then than it is now. A lot more physical work and the wear and tear on my knees and my body. Now here I'm 70 years old. I started having knee pain here four or five years ago. and So I was looking for a stem cell clinic and all, lo and behold, my good friend John Farley and, and Ken Wood, who'd been customers and, and friends for a, for a number of years, opened their clinic and in about Two months my heel was a lot better and and then at the end of three months and then going on four why my knee started making significant improvement and it's sure been a blessing because before I had the stem cells why well, I'd be driving a tractor and if I sat in a tractor for two or three hours when I got out I'd have to to stop and get the kinks out of my knee and shake it and uh, today I that's not a problem 